it's Natalie welcome to or welcome back to my channel so today as you guys see by the title I'm doing a whole entire video talking about why I'm transferring and some of the things I did not agree with or I didn't like about Flagler College just a disclaimer I'm not saying Flagler College is a horrible school a bad school or you shouldn't apply that's not what I'm saying at all Flagler College is an amazing school it's beautiful the teachers really do care I have some notes on my phone so many people inbox me on Instagram and say like Oh, like, what are your real views? Like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Like, I, I love your vlog. And, like, thank you. <laughs> um, video is basically just gonna talk about everything. So, one of the biggest things for me is where I live. So, of course, being a freshman, you have to live in Ponce, or if you're a boy at Lewis or Cedar, the boys' dorms, basically. And then the upperclassmen get A Bear and then FEC. Since Ponce is beautiful and amazing and so pretty and a historical building, that means it's very old. Now, coming in my freshman year, I knew the building was very old, wasn't a problem. I did not know about the termite. Termites aren't in everyone's room, but like it wasn't in my room, but it was definitely in two of my best friend's room room and my other friend's room a girl actually said that her roommate was sleeping and like taking a nap and then the girl came back from her like class and there was termites literally flying all around her and on her like the girl that was sleeping and she tried to put in a maintenance request and the guy couldn't come until Tuesday like the next Tuesday and I think this day was like Thursday. So she was like, well, I'm not sleeping here. This is gross. Assign me another room. But yeah, the termites are not okay. Um, very disgusting. But like since Ponce is made out of wood, like the building is, obviously there's going to be termites after a while. And then another thing like bug related is the spiders. Like every single dorm had spiders. Mine. Almost every single dorm had spiders. I had spiders in mine. Like my mom is so scared of spiders. And if she ever saw a spider in my dorm, <gasps> my roommate found three spiders in one week in our bath. So I think I mentioned this in um, another video, but about Flagler, but Flagler is known to be like one of the beautiful, most beautiful schools in the country. That means there's like a lot of tourists. Where my room was, it was, I don't live there anymore so I can say this, but it was right in the rotunda, which is, I'll show you like a picture of it. That's the rotunda. My room was like right at the top. So I heard everything. I heard at eight in the morning, the little kids crying, wanting to go home from the tour. I heard the tour guides saying what all of the people on the top of the rotunda were and who they were. I heard everything. So, of course, that was just a me problem because, like, that's where my room was. But tourist, I think when you're trying to get to class and you're already running late, you're behind someone that doesn't even go to Flagler and just is viewing the school just to see the location. And it's annoying because not only do you not want to be rude, but you also have to get to your class. And they don't understand like yeah this is a historical school but like students still attend here they need to get to class so tourists were like a huge problem so since Flagler College is such a small school it's a private small school um one thing I thought was pretty unbelievable was when you're done with your semester you have to like sign up for more classes obviously to keep attending but the only problem is that since it's such a small school, everyone wants the same classes as you. So it's so hard, the classes you need at the like time you want, because there's not like a lot of professors teaching that class. It's like, if you don't get your class, you're screwed almost. So classes are very, 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 very hard to get when it's like sign up day. Speaking of classes, some classes I did not agree with, which I know isn't at every school, but I know Flagler has it, is the FYS class, which is first year seminar, which you like have to take in your freshman year. I don't understand what the point of that class was other than to be in a class like when I say I love the teacher the professor was amazing I loved her so much but I just don't understand what the point 
of that class was like at all it was basically we had to read a book and then we talked about the book and then wrote some papers that's about it <laughs> following the line of classes a huge reason why I am transferring is because the classes I wanted for my sophomore year I couldn't get and since I wasn't living on campus and my house is like 45 minutes away I like needed my classes like good classes so it lined up perfectly but of course when I needed to register it was hard to get the classes so my advisor told me to take classes like yoga and Italian but like I just don't agree with the fact that I have to take like almost not stupid classes because like but like almost nothing classes just so I could be a full-time student did not make sense to me I just was not doing it I thought that was ridiculous so a while back on my Instagram um, I asked you guys what you guys wanted me to film for Flagler College like if you guys have any questions I'll answer them if you guys wanted a video about Flagler just like send me them so one girl did and she was like can you do basically what there is on the weekends which I also had this question coming into Flagler I never saw a vlog about anything on the weekends um but being a student and living there for a year I totally understand why <laughs> so while I was attending Flagler and I was posting all these videos about like the beach and this and that people still wanted me to film the nightlife basically like I'm a college student I should be out but to be honest, Flagler College is in the center of St. Augustine, like the downtown area, and there's literally nothing to do. Like it's fun the first two weeks, don't get me wrong, I had a blast. Like all the party houses get shut down so quickly by the police and it's like you don't want to get caught. There's really nothing to do, which is awful. Thank God I had the friends I did. Um, we went to the beach almost every single weekend. We did almost everything together. We had a girlies hat and what we did was we went to different restaurants around town like that's the only way I think I survived my freshman year at Flagler because a lot of the time I was bored I was sitting in my dorm on my computer watching YouTube for hours and hours and hours and yeah that's that's so fun to do like don't get me wrong I love watching YouTube videos but not every single day of my life I know I said this in a couple of my videos but Flagler has no parking and when I mean no parking there's only four I want to say maybe five parking lots that students can park at <laughs> it's like so bad how hard the parking is the major reason why it's so bad is because since it's, it's in like the heart of st augustine downtown tourists decide to take the student parking which fills up so easily it's like you paid for a decal to park on campus but of course you can't because there's so many tourists taking your parking for free the food at Flagler was not the best, I'm gonna be honest. There's the Bistro, which has Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, and the Boris Head Shop, which is like a deli, basically. And then at FEC, I think it has the Pod, which I've never been there, because it's such a far walk. Um, and then there's the Dining Hall. The Dining Hall, you can ask any Flagler student if they like the Dining Hall and they would all probably say they don't like it. The food there is just, there's no seasoning on anything. There, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. The only good night was when they had like chicken nuggets. And the chicken nuggets were kind of like McDonald's chicken nuggets. Like they were just so not good. One time, quick little story. One time when, when I did eat at D-Hall, I wanted french fries, which I don't think they have every night, but this night that's, they did so I got my plate I got some french fries and as I was like scooping my french fries out there was literally hair hair in the french fries that's disgusting that's so gross but the thing I will miss about D Hall is they had really good smoothies, but of course you can only get them like in the morning, really early in the morning, and then sometimes at lunch they weren't open like all the time, and you make your own smoothie, you put whatever you want in it. I love the smoothie so much. It was fresh fruit, no, it was frozen fruit, but like, oh, it was so good. So as you guys know, there's something called the freshman 15, which is basically you go off to college and you gain like 15 pounds. I personally was so scared of this. Like I promised myself I'd always go to the gym and just be that like person that just loves the gym. Well, on campus there is a gym 
and it's by the auditorium which is like across from pond so the only problem with that is it's so small and half the time since Flagler College has like sport um the team's condition in the gym and there's only so little there's so little equi equipment to actually work out with to work out with that it's almost impossible to like try to get around like each team from like the baseball team to the basketball team to the softball team they're all like in there and it's like you can't even work out so yeah the gym Something that really bothered me was Flagler doesn't really have a lot of school spirit, which I come from like a little Catholic school, but like we went to every football game, we went to every lacrosse game, and we held up big signs, big posters, like everything just for school spirit. I felt like coming here, I kind of thought it'd be like, you know, college sports, like big deal. There's no school spirit and it, it was horrible. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys like it. And once again, I'm not saying do not apply for Flagler. Definitely apply. It's an amazing school. I just don't think that school is right for me. So I just thought to tell you guys that I am transferring and I'm not going to announce the name of the school until I get in. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next Friday. Bye, guys. <laughs> hey, Java, get out. I want to go to bed oh don't go in there please don't please just don't go in there java go back to your dorm don't jump on my bed don't do it